Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about what's called the line continuation character. All right, so sometimes when you write your Python code, it goes all the way from the beginning of the line over here, all the way to the end of the line, and then it kind of continues on the next line. But when that happens, sometimes Python gets confused and thinks that those lines, those two separate lines are, are you know, you know, so it thinks that those two lines, are, or the lines that, that are broken up, are separate lines. So it kind of interprets them differently. Meanwhile, you, you meant to actually type one line, but it, because it's too long, it got broken up here to the next line. So when that happens, Python gets confused and it kind of gives you errors. So let's kind of create an example so that you see you know, what I mean here. So I'll go ahead and create a variable. I'll, I'll call it number one. And I'll initialize it to the value three. And then I'll make a copy of this variable and I'll paste it a couple of times here. I think 10 is fine. Uh, 10 is fine. And then I'll change the variable names over here. So number two, number three, number four, and, and so on and so forth. All right. So I'll go ahead and add them all up and store it in a variable called results here. So number one plus number two plus number three, and so on and so forth. So you can see where I'm going with this. I want to kind of create a long um, statement over here to kind of exceed a line. And although I may I may not exceed a line, I'll still point out something here. All right. So so sometimes you write your code, your, your line of code, and it will get to the end of the line over here, and it will kind of continue on the next line. But in Python, we'll kind of we'll get confused and think that, okay, those two lines are not together. They are two separate lines. So it will, it will try and interpret those two lines separately, and sometimes it will give you errors. It can give you errors. All right, so we didn't get to the end of the line, but we, um, you can see this line over here. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's really faint. It's a gray line over here. And it's a Python standard to type 80 characters on a line. All right, it's a Python standard to always code 80 car characters in a line and not exceed 80 car characters in a line. So if you count from here, you actually, from here all the way to, let's say, this line over here, you can, it's about 80 characters. And this is a guideline for me so that I don't exceed it. Now, before that, um, when you run this program on its own and you try to print out the value of result and you run it, it should work, right? It works perfectly. It says 30 over here. But because I've exceeded this line and I don't want to exceed it, I may want to break it, right? You may think that breaking it somewhere here by hitting the enter key will do it. So let's see, if I hit the enter key, I didn't change anything. All I did was I broke the line into two by hitting the enter key. When I, when I run the program, I get an error. It says syn syntax error over here. And it kind of shows me the line where, where I have the error, basically from the beginning of this line here all the way to the plus sign. And it's highlighting, I can see it's pointing to this line. It's treating these two lines as separate. Uh, so it's interpreting this first line here and saying that, hey, um, this line doesn't make sense. What's this plus doing over here? And so on and so forth. So there's a way to properly break a line in Python. I'm going to bring this back. If I wanted to break it from this exa exact same spot, I type in the backslash before I break it. I type in the backslash before I hit enter. And as soon as I do that and I run the program, we can see that it works. It says 30 over here. So the backslash is what's called the line continuation character. And before you break any line, you type in a backslash and hit enter. You can break it um, um, so in multiple in multiple places. You can use it several times. So after breaking hit here, I can also break it somewhere here by typing in, let's say, a backslash, hit enter. Run the program, and we can see it's still working. Let's try somewhere around here to see if it, may, it works. Um, let's see. Yeah, and it still works. So you can you can place them just on do and do a few steps back. You can place them, let's say, anywhere before or after. Oh, well, I think I messed up somewhere. <laughs> I think I messed up somewhere. Okay, now this is fine. All right, so you can place them anywhere before or after the, the plus signs, for example. Don't place them in the variable names because as soon as you do that, you kind of break the variable because this whole name is what's referring to that var you know, that value, right, number two. So anywhere before or after this plus sign is fine. Um, so another way, so we'll f so this is, this is one way. Another way you, you can use it is sometimes when you have the print statement and, and you have multiple arguments passing them. So I'm going to create a print 
function over here and pass in some ar arguments in there. All right, so I'm going to say that my name is K. That's one, well, that's one argument. My name is K, and my age is, and I'm going to create another argument with a comma. I'm going to separate it with a comma, and I'm going to create another argument and say 27. Another argument and say that we are having, oops, we are having fun programming. And then another argument and say that, well, let's continue. The number, so now another argument, a number, this number, and then another argument is a very long number, right? <laughs> I was about to say it's, it's a very long int, but that sounded funny because long is the data type in other languages, so it's a very long int anyway. But what I meant was it's a very long, it's, it's long in, um, you know, by looking at it, or in numbers. All right, so over here we, I missed the G here. Over here we we kind of kind of fa we kind of face the same problem over here. Over here, assuming we wanted to break this line into two, um, where um, where would you break it? Um, so before that, by default, right, anytime you pass in multiple arguments into the print function, by default they are displayed with a space separate in them, right? So this is one argument. This is one argument. The arguments are what what uh, what are separated by commas over here. Right, so they are separated by commas. This is one argument. This is one argument. That's another argument. And so on and so forth. By default, they are displayed with a space separate in them. So this argument here, my name is K, my name is K, and my my age is that's one argument here, and it's separated um, with a space before the next argument is displayed. Sorry. Before the next argument is displayed, you can see that there's, there's a space here before the 27 is displayed. This space is not that space displayed here. This space is just for me so I can read. When I close the space and I run it, we can see I have the same thing. By default, these arguments are displayed with a space separate in them. All right. So how would I break this? You may be tempted to, to kind of put the backslash in the string. Um, I wouldn't advise that you do that just yet because when you do that, you may face some problems, right? So for now, I would advise that you put your backslash, you know, in between. Um, so in between arguments, and what I mean by that is not like not directly in the in, in between the arguments um, this way. I'm talking about in between the individual arguments. So this is one argument, right? Place it after that argument. So somewhere anywhere before or after this this comma is fine. I can place it somewhere here or somewhere here, right? So this is one argument. Place it before or after that. So I can place it somewhere here. Right before the comma, or after the comma here. Don't place it directly in the string or directly in the numbers. You're going to have an error if you do that. So somewhere here is fine. So over here, I may be tempted to put it here. No, and I and I realize that if I break it somewhere here, I, I may still I will still exceed that line. So let's undo it. And so before the, so because of that, I'm going to place it before that argument. Okay, I'm going to go a step back before that argument here, before that that argument begins, right after the comma here. Place that backslash and hit enter. Right, I can see that the second line is still exceeding it, so I'm going to put, break it somewhere around here. Right, I'm not going to put it in the string directly. I'm going to put it before that argument, anywhere before or after the comma is fine. So backslash, and then hit enter and then run my program and we can see that nothing changed. When I run, nothing changed. I've broken it in, into, into three parts, but then, but then because I have the backslashes there, I'm telling Python that, hey, treat all these lines as one and don't treat them as separate lines. As soon as I remove these backslashes and I try to run the program, um, in some cases it would work. In some cases it would work, but then it looks like this case, it's fine. It's not giving us any problem. But then in some cases you, you definitely have errors. So don't do that. <laughs> I, I was I thought it would give us an error, but in this case, it looks like because we're because we're dealing with strings and um, passing multiple arguments into the print function, and we're separating them, you know, from the commas over here, it's fine. So yeah, just make it a habit always to break it with backslashes, and because in some cases, if you do, if you don't have the backslashes and you break them, it's going to give you an error like we saw before. All right, so this is an example of um, how you do that, how you break multiple. Um, uh, one line, one long line into multiple lines. All right, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them.
Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.